hanging around them juke joints, you know, and them, them black men was playing them, you know. Uh -huh. But it's history. Now, when they was building the railroads through this country, you know, they started on the east coast over here. One crew started on the east coast, and another crew started on the west coast. Well, when they met, over there in Utah, they drove down a golden spike. Uh, you've read that. Uh, they drove down a golden spike. So uh, this little black boy, uh, he went out this gang and uh, where he's driving that steel, and he asked the boss man for a job. Big black, um, I mean a big white uh, boss man. He looked at him. He says, "Well, uh, what's your name?" He said, "My name's John Henry." He said, what you want? He says, I want a job of driving steel. He said, well, John Henry says you couldn't even pick up a hammer, much less drive steel. And he says, well, please give me a chance. So they gave John Henry that hammer, you know, and he began to drive that steel, and the sparks began to fly from them spikes when he's driving around there. Everybody gathered around him, you know. And uh, so that's where the legend of John Henry. Well, now John Henry, he could have been on this east coast over here, you know. But uh, now the song, uh, <laughs> I've got all the history and everything of it right there. But, uh, but John Henry, they always sing John Henry over here in this side of the country over here. Uh, I've been out west. <laughs> I went out. I was out there once, and I, I went in one of them places, you know, and I asked them if they need a guitar player. He said, no. He said, don't need a guitar player. He said, we need a piano player. I said, okay, I'll play the piano. <laughs> So, <laughs> I sat down there at that, that darn piano player and I started whipping it away. <laughs> Tomb, Tombstone, I believe was the name of that place. <laughs> uh, I was wild and woolly back <laughs> in my days, buddy. <laughs> hmm. I sang you that lamp light time, did I? Did I? I didn't. I didn't sing your lamp light time in the valley. Well, I don't want to do it over again now. If I did, when I first began to play a guitar, I would be out late at night. I'd be playing the square dances and uh, cane grindings and uh, <laughs> every kind of entertainment in the world. I'd, I'd be out of playing for them. Yeah, you know what a cane grind? Very well, uh, it was just, that was a social event of the season, was a cane grinder. Uh, that was a social event uh, uh, of the season. So, I'd be out late at night uh, playing this guitar. And uh, I'd, come here, I'd come home uh, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, and we... Uh, we lived uh, down a long, winding lane, uh, a three-path road, if you know. Well, you know what a three-path road is? It was a place for the horse to walk, and he was pulling a buggy or a wagon, and there was two places, uh, one for this wheel and this one other. That's what they call a three-path road. It was a, a sandy, real sandy, and I looked down that old moonlight, a uh, three-path road, a uh, winding road. Way down at the end of that road, I'd see a little lighter burning down there. And I knew what it was. That was my old mother uh, waiting up for her old wandering boy to come home. <laughs> it just breaks my heart <laughs> to think about it now. She never would go to bed till till I got home and got safely in bed. How late? Oh, she'd sit right there. When I got home, then she'd puff out that old light, and we'd all go to bed. Well, along about that time, there's some fella wrote a, a story about all of that, and I'd, I'd like to do it right now for you.